Reef DVM's coming at you with a fun project, mounting antelope horns. I haven't seen a lot of videos on this, so I thought I'd make one because I kind of like doing it. Um, I know some people like to mount the whole heads of antelopes, and that's fine. But these little goats are kind of a favorite of mine, and I like to do it kind of simply. And you really can't buy easy uh, mount kits for horns, at least not that I've seen. So I tend to use antler mounts. So... Um, went out west, uh, shot myself a nice uh, almost uh, 13 and a half inch antelope, and I wanted to uh, put it on um, some oak, so I bought myself an antler plaque. Um, these are really simple to use, folks. If you've ever used them for white-tailed deer, they work really, really well. Um, I like that it's real oak. I like that it's actual leather, and I like it goes together well. But I wanted to show you that you can use them for horns. Um, so I'm going to get some boiling water, and I'm going to take my horns and uh, the skull cap there and I'm actually going to start the boiling process. Now I, I know with antlers um, if you read the back of the directions it doesn't tell you, you have to do this but I've got the water kind of on like a low medium heat it's starting to boil and uh, we don't really want this to be a full rolling boil we just want this to kind of be like a like a simmer boil and we're going to put the horns in it enough that it's you know hopefully covered up to where you know maybe at least a third of them all up in the water and there's a reason for this, folks. Um, I'm not trying to boil the horns and distort them. I'm trying to get the sheath off so I can get the material between, the, if you want to think about the dead part of the horn and the alive part of the horn, off. And that is not the easiest thing to do. So here I am just lifting the, the cover off. Uh, I've been boiling it for slowly for about maybe 30, 35 minutes. And you can see there's some tissue on the uh, skull cap yet. But what I'm after is not to distort the horn. I'm just after to eventually get it loose so that I can pull the, the sheath off it. As you can see here, um, I'm just kind of feeling it. It's very hot. I'm going to put my foot kind of right on the skull cap. And I'm going to twist a little bit and pull. And off is going to come the sheath. It's, it's not always the easiest to do, folks. But once you get it, it does come. Let's see if I can show you this up, up close the best the best I can here. See, there it is. There, the sheath is off. Um, the inside of the horn there is is visible, and that's a material that if you don't get rid of it, it's gonna stink. <laughs> you don't really want that in your house. So I'm gonna kind of step on it again. I'm gonna try and work the other side free. So once I once I get this off, um, basically what I'm gonna then do. So now I've got both of these off. Um, I'm gonna set them off to the side because they're very important. They're very cosmetic, obviously, in the mount. And then I'm going to take the skull cap and finish boiling it a little harder to actually get all the material off it. I don't want any organic, so to speak, uh, fleshy material left. So I'm going to take this now and I'm going to drop it back in the boiling water. I'm going to turn it up a little. I'm going to boil it another 45 minutes. And when I take it out, this is what it looks like. As you can see, the, the horn material has, has really shrunk up and it comes off very easily even though it's hot. And um, there's some dead material in the skull cap. I'll, I'll take that out back here with the, with the pressure washer and a hose. And I, I'm going to get all that stuff off. It's, it's really, really hot, folks. But I'm going to take the camera out here into the shop and get in the wash stall. And I'm just going to speed up the video here and just blast off all this crap. So that basically I can work with the two bone pieces of horn and get those set into the Cabela's antler mount with screws and then get the um, uh, leather to kind of fit over it correctly. And then I'm going to basically put the horns on top with a bit of silicone inside them, and that'll, you know, basically harden back up on those bones, and uh, my mount will be done. It, it's actually a, a simple process. It just takes a little bit of tweaking, because, again, antler mounts um, on these uh, the Cabela's oak aren't really made for the wide basis of the uh, horns. But here it is, my two sheaths, the horns. And here's the directions on the antler plaque, and I'm going to kind of ignore most of that. <laughs> doesn't really work in this case. Um, so here's um, the leather uh, on the oak already, and the um, top piece um, does come off. So does the bottom piece. It's screwed on in the back. I don't think it's uh, much of an issue to remove. And then, um, you know, on the back side, it's got two holes in the center, which are meant to kind of screw your, your horns into. And then you're going to probably need, you know, a Phillips screwdriver and a scissors, and it does come with a few bolts. First thing I want to do is kind of trial fit this. As you can see, there's no way with the skull cap 
hole that this set of horns is going to completely fit in here. So instead of doing my own plaster and mold and all that work to, to make a new piece, I'm just going to basically kind of dash out where I want to cut the skull cap. I'm going to cut the ends off the skull cap first, and then I'm going to cut the skull cap in half. I'm going to mount each piece of horn in separately. Um, I'm going to use a little roto zip to do this, obviously wearing mask and gloves, because bone fragments are going to fly here in a second. But I'm going to get this thing cut down to the level I want. I'm going to get it screwed onto the oak, and then I'm going to just kind of futz with it and position it to get to get the leather where I want it. And once I get the leather where I want it, um, there's two screws on the back of the bottom piece of leather and there's one screw on the top piece. So here it is. I've, I've really trimmed down the skull cap and I'm going to split it in half here in a minute. And I'm just kind of positioning one side in at a time just to kind of get the feel of it. Now, nothing is 100% set yet, um, but you can see I'm, I'm putting it together and I had to open up those openings a little bit, had to kind of fold that leather around those big horns had to get those screws set in the best I could. It, it's just kind of fighting with it a little bit, folks, but you just got to figure it out. Again, this top piece, had to kind of take that leather and just, just work it with my fingers and, and kind of bend it and, and, and push it in nice and tight. And, of course, there's dust and, you know, debris that get on the oak and stuff. Just take a towel and wipe it off when you're done. Um, it ends up looking really, really nice when you're done. Um... I know that these things are meant to last a long time this way. There's no organic material. There's going to be no smell. And I'm going to end up with a beautiful mount here for my, you know, 13 and about a half um, antelope uh, in inches that I shot here in 2017. Thank you for watching, folks. Please like or subscribe, and we'll keep putting out great videos like this.